Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the VEX EXP optical sensor. Notice that I have it plugged into port seven here. And we're just gonna go ahead and click the run program. So if we're, uh, if we're at home, we're gonna click the check on drive and then the check on run. Okay, so now uh, because it's in port seven, we're gonna arrow over and you'll notice that it's right here and it's already saying the hue that it's detecting. Right now it's pointed up so it detects you know, Q40. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click the green check. Notice that we get a couple of uh, different values. Uh, included, including brightness and proximity. Okay, so now let's just take a look at how this changes. So we have the green ring here that, that is part of the kit. And notice that when the green ring gets close to the optical sensor, we get a 107 or 10, about 100. Uh, and notice that it senses green, okay? All right, same thing is true with the red ring. So if we take the red ring in, notice it senses red. And if we take the blue ring in, notice that it senses, you guessed it, red no <laughs> this is blue there we go so uh so basically what we have here is that uh when you're hooking this up to the robot these values are all available then programmatically but it's a good it's a good way uh just to display it on the brain if you're if you're wanting to see you know what what uh values are coming in and should be available to your program it's a good it's a good way to do that just by looking at the brain itself and notice also the proximity so if we take uh if we take this blue Notice the proximity right now is near, now it's far. As it gets closer, it's near. Okay, so you can see the proximity changing as well. Uh, we can also change the brightness clearly. Notice the brightness changes also. So the, the optical sensor is, uh, is kind of a, a multi-use uh, sensor. Uh, best of luck.